Good day, Farouk here. I hope you're doing well today. Let's talk about the right kind of study mindset. Real quick, if you're preparing for the civil epi exam, you can download your free study planner below. I highly recommend downloading this and printing a physical copy. You can do it at a local print shop or maybe you can print it at work. Get a physical copy and start planning your next study session using this planner. You do not want to just show up and study. This goal from the start is ineffective. Think about this. What does showing up and just studying mean to you? Too often I've seen students do this. They do the practice problems. They do the quizzes. They watch my videos and they do phone length practice exams. And after months of preparation, they go on exam day and they fall short. Their performance is not good enough. How could this be? There's no way. They did thousands of practice problems, the quizzes, full length practice exams, watch videos, tried to learn the concepts. Still, they fell short on their performance on exam day. How is this even possible? First of all, you're different and that's a good thing. Do not compare yourself to your coworker, to your classmate. Do not compare how you learn to how they learn. Do not compare your study schedule to their study schedule. You have a different life. You have maybe working full time. You have kids, you have a family. Your life conditions, your circumstances will be different than theirs. It makes no sense to compare yourself to other people. And the moment you start comparing yourself to others, you're probably going to have the wrong type of mindset, which leads to the wrong kind of learning. The mindset. This is the most important thing I want you to develop as you prepare for your epi exam. You must gradually develop the right kind of study mindset. And this study mindset is built on the right foundation. And the right foundation is not about just showing up and studying. It is not about getting through a bunch of practice problems. It is not about memorizing solutions or looking at video solutions, convincing yourself that you're really retaining what you're learning. It is not about comparing yourself to your coworker, your classmate, and it is not about doing this for no reason. What's your reason for doing all of this in the first place? Rather, we need the right foundational principles and we're going to build the right study mindset from these right foundational principles. The right foundational principles are rooted in purpose. Why are you doing all of this in the first place? Why go through so much work four months to study for this FE exam? And now most importantly, why are you learning? Are you learning just to get through that next study session and to feel like you're learning? Or are you learning to really understand? Are you learning with curiosity? Are you learning while asking questions? Why are you learning? And if you're learning to pass the FE exam, and if that's the only goal you have, I would say that's the wrong goal from the very beginning. It's not about passing this FE exam because you will pass it as long as you have the right study mindset and you have purposeful learning through the whole process. You're asking questions. You're curious about that next practice problem. You're solving problems and struggling, getting stuck and accepting that you will get stuck and you're going to be curious and ask questions about why you got stuck. Is it a conceptual thing? You're just asking questions and being completely honest with yourself. That's what we call real learning. It's not about just getting through that next study session, going through the motions, memorizing solutions. That's ineffective. And that will likely not give you the performance you need to tackle this FE exam with confidence. So have a real reason as to why you're learning learn purposefully and keep doing your thing and always, always take plenty of breaks.